chose to explore many different types of music, such as being the first ones to play a harmonica in a rock song, and although they encountered many difficulties, they persevered with hard work and ingenuity to end up as the most popular band in the world. Please enjoy the show. Hey Charlie, welcome back. Take a seat. For being wrong so long, we need to get you caught up on your history. And I heard that your class was discussing historical and common and exchanges, so I thought we could discuss the Beatles, and when they came to America in 1960. Charlie, they weren't bugs or insects, they were the beetles. B E A T. Beetles. They were a band that was formed in Europe but wanted to become more popular eventually in America. So the Beatles were a band? Yes, they were, Charlie, good listening. But they weren't just a band. They had created a new style of music from melding blues, country, pop, music hall, and Broadway into a two guitar sound known as rock and roll. They were some of the first bands and musicians to play this way. Cool. How does the history of the new life tie to music? History comes in all forms, so give a little listen as I get my friend James to help us explore the impact that the Beatles had on America. February 2nd, 1964, the Cold War is entering its 17th year, and President Dave K. was assassinated about two months ago. The country is still very much in mourning. This is already a sad start. How did people manage to survive in all this strife? They didn't do it well. There were protests, peace marches, and Sultan General. America needed a distraction, a catalyst of happiness. And what better than four young men with good haircuts and voices to be that distraction? Wait, I'm confused. The Beatles, Charlie, we're talking about the Beatles. Oh, right, that band you're talking about. But what did they have to do with all that, though? You have much to learn, Charlie. Good thing we're here. Okay, let's get back on track. The Beatles, originally known as the Quarrymen, started in Liverpool in 1960. John Lennon and Paul McCartney became friends and were in the band The Stuart Suckley and Pete Best. They played at a place called the Tavern Club once they were done playing after in their school. Unfortunately, George Harrison replaced Stuart Sutcliffe because he died, and Ringo Starr replaced Pete Best because Ringo was more experienced. So now, meet the Beatles. I'm John. I sing and play guitar. I stand for peace. I'm Paul. I sing and play bass. I'm known as the cute one. I'm George. I'm the baby of the bunch, and I'm on lead guitar. I'm Ringo. I'm the drummer. I love my rings. Don't touch my rings or I'll clock you. The Beatles were popular in England and Germany, and even had some songs that reached the top of British charts. But this wasn't enough for them. They wanted to conquer America as well. News of them and their music started to cross the pond, and many Americans just began to, just, just began to hear their new sound, and many of them loved it. I feel that the best way to understand history is to live it. So pretend you're the Beatles, and we'll show you what it was like when fans first encountered them. Pretend you were walking down the stairs off an airplane. Imagine that multiplied by a hundred, or even a thousand. 
After they after that encounter, the Beatles had a press conference. Now this time, you be the reporter, and James now will be the Beatles. These two. Are you a little embarrassed by the women's team class? No, it's great. No. Marvelous. <laughs> Love it. We like lunatics. You're in favor of lunacy? Yeah. yeah. It's healthy. Are those English accents? Uh, no, it's Liverpoolian, you see. The Liverpool accent, you know, the way they say some of the words, you know, you say grass instead of grass, and that sounds a bit American. So there you go. What do you think the music does to these people? Uh, hmm, well. well. I don't know, it pleases them well. It must, because it seems they're buying it. Why does it excite them so much? We don't know, really. If we knew, we'd form a new group and be their managers. <laughs> what are all those talk these represent some kind of social rebellion? It's a lie. It's a dirty, dirty lie. That was the first interview the Beatles had in America. Judging by it, some people like them and some not so much. Excitement group. Soon a television show would solidify their popularity into America. It was known as the Ed Sullivan Show. It was a variety show hosted by Ed Sullivan. Think of it as The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, except it was the only one of its kind at the time. Many fans with the TV would sit down and watch it. But this one was a record breaker. A new world record of 73 million people tuned into this episode with the Beatles. Check out this clip on your iPad. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! <laughs> Watch, as we act out how this exchange must have gone down in many houses. This time, Jackson will play my 12-year-old son, exploring his newfound love of the Beatles, and me as his father. Wow, these guys are far out. Can't even hear them over the stupid girls screaming. Oh yeah? Well, I can hear them, and I think they sound great. Well, they have a bunch of black mops on their head. They need a haircut. I think their hair is kind of choice. Very hair. Well, I think they're a bunch of hoodlums. I don't think you should listen to their music anymore. I think you should mellow out. These guys are out of sight, and I'm going to buy every record they put out. Arr! Sounds like my house when my sister went through her One Direction phase. Or had Beatles either. That's right. The Beatles were history's first boy band, but they could sing and were gifted musicians. Plus, they wrote their own music and all played instruments. Can you believe it? It was Beatlemania. To this day, my grandfather still talks about hearing them on TV. He talks about the backbeat and how he couldn't forget it. That encounter started his love of music. Cool. Beatles really took America by storm. Hey, what had happened to Beatles? They went on to become one of the most popular bands in the world. Their music continued to evolve, but unfortunately, they broke up at the height of their popularity. But they gave this world some of the most influential and important music in history. A lot of their music talked about love, peace, and could make people think. But where are they today? All of the Beatles had success creating music by themselves and with other bands. Unfortunately, John Lennon was assassinated in 1980, and George Harrison died of cancer in 2001. But Paul and Ringo still continue to tour and make new sound today. I really hope you continue to check out these Beatles. They were really cool. Another thing you might want to do is ask your parents and grandparents what it was like growing up with the Beatles and seeing them on TV. Cool. I think we can download some of their music. Can we download the 